So, it's finally October and the year is getting darker. The line between worlds grows thinner and I don't know about you, but I am in a spooky mood. This is a story about when I used to study back in Stockholm. I remember walking out at night about to throw my trash and as I stood and recycled, as you do as a sweet two in the morning, I remember I got this weird feeling that something was staring at me. It was this deer standing 30 meters away from me, staring. And I swear, it was something weird about this creature. There are of course only two possible explanations. The deer was flabbergasted because he caught a wild aphelion outside of his gaming cave recycling or that it was a skinwalker. The entire idea of skinwalkers has always fascinated me. In Navajo folklore, these entities are associated with dark magic and possesses supernatural powers like shape shifting, which is probably what they are most well known for. But in summary, skinwalkers are used to be witches or shamans with the ability to transform into or disguise themselves as animals, especially the predatory creatures like wolves, coyotes, or bears. Or maybe I don't fucking know, a deer in Stockholm staring at me at a faithful night? They have, they usually have, or I don't know, they always have malicious intent, I, I don't fully remember, but they have malicious intent. But not much is actually known about the lore of these creatures because of the information is tightly kept secret in the Navajo community. But I feel like, let's enlighten ourselves with the most trustworthy place, YouTube Shorts. Okay, this video is made by Faxpedia07. Let's see what he has to say. Disguised as animals. First like and subscribe if this dog is cute, or else this spider will be in ah, Subscribe! <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's just me, you know. It's like when it's like when you walk into your parents' bedroom when you're a kid and you're telling them you threw up. That, that's basically you. Okay, let, let's see some other videos. First of all, what the fuck is that username, man? FNAF versus Jaw Scary Stories Chun. 9167, okay. Amazing transition, by the way. It's a fucking deer! I saw that deer, bro! I'm not even joking! It's the exact same deer I saw! It was just staring at me! Oh no. I told you it was true, it was a skinwalker. <laughs> he just took some crack, man. I, I, I think that's still your dog. I think he's just high. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's a buff ass dog. Don't watch alone. Thank God I'm with you guys. In this next creepy video, the TikTok user Lindsay Ivan has captured a bizarre video of some unexplained creature climbing on top of a roof. That was just me. I'm sorry, it was just me. Be a skinwalker. That's me. Looking for my new YouTube idea. I'm just. Okay, what the fuck is that? That's kind of cre creepy though. Oh, he's like a huge frog. Poor dog. He just wanna go inside. <laughs> I love these fucking stories about. I don't know. People make these stories about their animals being skinwalkers, and the animals are just being animals. Oh my god! I think my dog's a skinwalker. He's he's usually brown. But my dog is orange. That's not my dog anymore. That's not my dog. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Okay, so maybe maybe YouTube Shorts isn't the best source of information when it comes to skinwalkers. Clearly. However, there is this place in Utah called Skinwalker Ranch, and it's a property known for reports of paranormal activity, UFO sightings, and strange phenomena like cattle mutilations with surgical precision. No blood. Allegedly, there are a lot of strange things happening in this area. The area is steeped in Ute and Navajo traditions, with the Navajo associating lands with skinwalkers, and the Ute tribe, they even considers this entire area cursed and they avoid it at all costs. I've never been there, but thankfully, people on Google Map Reviews have, and I feel like we'll g give them a chance, have a more nuanced source of uh, our information. 
Nahif over here said that the ranch was so lovely. They stumbled across it with his family and they would definitely be back. Lol. At night while hiking, they saw something that kinda looked like his uncle Charles. Thought it was him, wanted to say hello, but he got a little too frisky and bit my finger off. He certainly got a little too hyper. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> hello, Uncle Charles. <laughs> I got abducted here in November 2021. Super cool experience. Yeah, I don't know about this whole skinwalker thing. Do you guys believe in them? And do you have any experiences? Subscribe and see you guys next week. Bye-bye.